are you devils out there? Oh, happy Friday. Well, okay, before we dig in here, oh, just uh, a thank you to my sensei, PK, who filled in for me last Friday. I, it's always good for you guys to get a different voice, different opinion, a different style. Uh, he's one of our master elliticians, right? so I'm always glad to give him a chance to get, get some exposure. Uh, I, I'm, I'm on day nine dealing with COVID. I don't know if any of you who are on the live stream know I've been uh, just unbelievably sick. I, I don't know if any of you have ever ha have had this, but you do not want this version. And I, I've been, I had it in 2020. It was like a bad cold for four or five days. This has just absolutely been kicking my ass. So, uh, oh, there may be a shorter video, although I say that every week. Uh, I, I mean, you don't want this one. It's really, really been brutal. Anyway, as, as we get going here. Now, okay, so what the fuck? It, what, it, panic? Is, are we literally panicking here? This is a great example of emotion in the market. It, of course, it's what drives the market. It's what creates Elliott Waves, human emotion. But holy shit, I, the panic I'm seeing across the markets is is interesting. I'll call it that. I, I, I don't, I totally am at a loss as to what all this panic is about. I mean, the market is doing exactly, exactly what you would anticipate it's doing. We're going to look at the S&P as well. It's, it's the same thing. It, 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 news flash for you. It is never, ever different this time. Ever. Well, I, well, we're we're going to go through it here, but I, I, just people, just chill out. Good God. This, this is not time to be panicking. This is time to be looking for opportunity. Now, that is my opinion, of course. So you, uh, panic if you'd like. But I, I think if, you, if you're objective here and can reduce some of the emotion, <laughs> again, it's... Yeah, the, the, if, we, if we think about the, the risk on, risk off, the equity markets in general, right? we, we've been waiting for, I, God, no, how long before we, we're, we're hoping the Fed is going to have the data to, to lower rates? Well, now that we're talking about four or five rates, geez, if not, perhaps this year, and the market is completely freaking out, right? It, we, it's, given, it's gotten exactly what it wanted, and now nobody wants, wants to go risk on. It's just interesting, right? It's just a great lesson for traders here. You've got to be objective, as objective as you can. Now, I know, I know. We can make a case there's nothing more emotional than money or money at risk, right, to create poor decision-making. But wow. I, I'm totally shocked by this. Now, I know you can't see this in here, but let's just review this quickly. Okay, boy really amuses me, right, to some degree. Now, of course, right now, I can have egg on my face next week if we're down, you know, in the 40s. But at the moment, I'm looking at this going, oh, my God, thank, thankfully, right, what, what we were hoping for is exactly what's happening. And now the market is completely freaking out. Okay, if this is one, two, and three, and we're in the midst of a four. Now, it's a very reasonable case that the four is in here. I <laughs> Where's the highest probability location for a wave four between a 23 and the 38? Here we sit, right? Nice little fair value gap. And then we got an impulse that comes off of it. This is the thing that I, I don't understand why everybody's freaking out. Okay, what, what were you anticipating? Right Now, I know maybe this is human nature. You were just anticipating this? We were just going to go in a straight line? Really, people, right? Chill out, right? Okay, so what, what we would anticipate is that we'd, oh, come here. We, we'd have a one, two, three, four, five then we'd be completing an impulse off of the low here at, at 15K. What? <laughs> Seriously, it's just, it's, it's just astonishing to me. I, so here, here's the pivot we just, I just drew out. Okay, let's, let's, let's break this down. Okay, here's the pivot, right? Very, very reasonable candidate. We're not, not hopium, not you know, stupidity. Very reasonable candidate if you're applying Elliott Wave or market structure or just rudimentary TA that we've got a, a three here after a very clear five. Here's a three. We were anticipating, right? You, you would anticipate if indeed it's going to be a four, we're going to get a five, an impulse into a one. Okay, well, here comes the two. And you're, you're not going to buy it because you're freaked out because you read something on Twitter or your news feed or whatever that, oh, crypto's crashing. It's always cryptos crashing. Always, 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 always. Crypto's over. It's crashing. Seriously, what the fuck? One, two, three, four, five into a one. What were you anticipating here? It, it, was it going to be different this time? Holy shit. What? 
maybe if we're lucky, it'll come down this low. Maybe we can get by it here at 61 to 60, 59. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll come down that low. Now here, look, we're, we're pinging off of the, the anchored VWAP, which is a reasonable spot to see a reaction. I'm just pulling it off of this prior pivot here as we went up. Okay, here's the God MA, right? Good proxy for the Vegas wave. Just look, let's, let's chart real estate. Okay, so right in the pocket, right in the pocket. Now, if you longed it up here with huge leverage, you, you deserve this. You, you deserve the pain you're experiencing right now. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mean to be insensitive to people taking losses here, but again, what did, the, what did you think was going to happen? You, you, you didn't think we'd have a retracement here? I don't mean to be sound like I'm scolding or that I'm arrogant that somehow I knew. But again, if you if you're just applying rudimentary Elliott wave here, here's a five. OK, working on a three. Here's the one working on the two. As a matter of fact, this is this is excellent news. This is not bad news, because if we're going to go up and do this three, we, we it has to retrace. It has to. That's why it retraces. We need the retrace to get all the sheeple, all the latecomers, all the, oh, fuck, I, you know, I only buy it when it's going up. We need to get all that accumulation here so we can do this. That's how the market moves. That's all it can ever do. That's, that's it. That's it right there. That's all it can. It's two dimensional. It's all we can do. We swing, we retrace. Do we do a five or do we do, do, we do a three? Period, period, period. That's the genius of Elliott Wave. It applies 90 years later. Nothing has changed. It is not different this time. It won't be different the next time. This is how the market moves. Five, we're working on the three. Now, okay, we do this. Okay, I'll change my tune. But until then, shit. Holy shit, it's coming down perfectly right into the pocket. The, the, the bigger concern would be, oh God, will it, will it get here? Well, if we dig in a little bit closer, it certainly looks like we're setting up for what, what would be the A, B, C to give us the opportunity to buy it here to go for that three. Here, here's the sucker rally. The B, always the sucker rally. That's where the unskilled, the, oh, shit, oh fuck, okay, correction's over. Okay, buy it, buy it, buy it. It rolls over, gives us a three. Here's the two. Here's the golden zone. What are we going to put on there? Now, we don't have this yet. We don't have it yet. But can you not see how that can come? Again, what? it was going to be different this time. Relax. Relax. If you're, if you're not relaxed, it means you're over levered or you're just you've, you've got too much size on. Now, listen, you know, if you, you want to trade on the short side, we certainly can help you trade on the short side. While I remain a perma bull for crypto in general, certainly for the majors, that doesn't mean there's, we've got plenty of people shorting and my, my team, you know, going to give you all sorts of opportunity applying what we teach for those of you that want to, you know, trade on a shorter term and are looking for short trading. Have at it. If you were, Jesus, let's go in there. Let's get to a, oh, what do I got here? Oh, let's go to a four hour. Okay. Here. Okay. All right. Let's get what we, what we don't have, just potentially what we'd like to see, what we'd hope to see. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right. So I've got a clear impulse. I don't think that's in dispute. We've got a clear impulse. Now we're starting the correction. Now, okay. It's a little funky coming down here. What are we doing here? One, two, three, A, B, C. It, it's unclear. But we're in the process of setting up for the two. Again, see, if, it, if it's up here, if it's, oh, shit, here, well, here, if it's up here, are you not going, God, hmm, oh, I love it up here at 70. Well, shoot, but I'd love to buy some more. Maybe it'll correct down here to the 50. And then it's doing it in the, it, well, panic? I think not. Okay, I guess I made that point. Okay, so what are we doing? Five A B, right? Maybe, right? It's, it's a little unclear, right? I don't, I'm not saying you need to be doing anything right now, but doesn't that look like what 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 we, what we might anticipate? Now we don't, you know, we can't, we don't don't color it in in your mind's eye, right? Which we tend to do, but that's what you would anticipate. We're gonna come in for a B and then come down for a C. That would be right on track. Here's the channel T took us up, right? Now we got a little. Oh, I do it this way. Just run it on the on the edge of that and slide it down. All right, so we've got a sliding parallel, right, to complete this one wave. Okay, break. Here, look, right, right to the low volume note as we sit here, because very little business was done here. So as we sit here, pinging the the anchored VWAP in that low volume node. Okay, reaction, reaction. I I don't know that that's going to hold. I'm not. It, it may. It may not. 
I'm, I'm not likely to be buying into the B, but I sure as hell am gonna be very interested if we get an opportunity to buy it under 61. Why, why would you not? What, what? Again, you think it's gonna be different this time? 90 years of Elliott Wave and it's gonna be different now? I think not. Okay, right, so let's wait and see, right? So this is just a bit of a hurry up and wait. I don't think, again, if you want to be very short term, there's a four hour, you want to go down to a 15 minute and dig down in here, have at it. It's just not something that I would do. Right? Now, my circumstance is a little different. Right? I, don't, I don't have time to do that. But okay, some, some, something corrective here. So if this A, B, C, maybe W, we're gonna, maybe we get an X and then maybe we come down to three. We'll, we'll see, it, it kind of looks like it's a three, right? So doesn't it? It's like something like a three here, right? So W, X, Y, very possible. We'd have a complex correction as the market is wrestling with the Fed. <laughs> the Fed. Now, now, it was, oh, we're going to have five quarter point hikes. Now, today, I, I've got, you know, if you're watching, I mean, I watch Bloomberg, right? But you've got people saying, okay, no, it's going to be 250, 250 cuts because they're behind the curve. You think that's going to be bearish for Bitcoin? I think not. Now, m m makes it uncomfortable today, depending on your perspective. If you're not over levered and over traded and, you know, not trading with money, you, you, you shouldn't, shouldn't be. This should be, this should just be something that you're, you're kind of leaning into going, oh, come on, come on down, come on down. I, I, I'm not getting the freak out. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, let's go. What have I got here? Let's go over to ETH. I don't know why I've got crypto down here, but this just how it's probably holdover from, well, when I copy them from the live streams, um, so I end up here. I can't trade on crypto. I wouldn't trade on crypto.com, but okay, well, it doesn't matter. It starts the chart. One, two, one, two, three, working on the four. Okay, it's a little tricky in here. It, it does kind of look like we're working on a triangle because really, what, 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 what are we doing here? What's sideways, classic four material. Again, you, you think it's going to be different this time? One, two, three, complex four. We're not progressing the trend. The four is the, usually the easiest thing to spot. I, it's, you know, it's, it's a lot to call a triangle this, this soon, right? Is this A, B, C, we're going for the D, down for the E, right? Kind of see how that could play. Now, again, I, we don't have the D or the E, right? So it's, again, th th that could change, right? And LA count is a snapshot in time. Right now, this looks like we went A, we went into an impulse A, three into the B. We're looking for the push up for the D, for the D before we retrace for the E. What, where's the highest probability location for a wave four pivot? Where do we sit right now? Where would the E be? Where's the channeling? surprises me one two we're not done with this what, what are we looking to complete the five of the three one two one two three four five of three followed by four followed by five what's that 12 grand now i'm not saying it's going to 12 grand but w look where we are here that's that's november of 2025 a lot has to happen between now and then but th th this this panic, Whew, I don't get it. So ETH looks okay. Let's wait and see, right? You you could certainly tr if you if, I mean you got a pretty reasonable risk reward scenario here. If you're if you're looking to nibble on the long side here, you'd have a clear exit, right? We break this, okay. Well, may maybe something else is happening. This certainly I'm not saying that this couldn't be well, okay. We're going to do something deeper. I'm not saying that that can't happen. Of course, right? The market's under no obligation to do anything. W just what what does it usually do? Oh, Solana, another one here. Again, freak out. Okay, let's 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 pull out to the daily. Why? <laughs> uh, trading. You gotta love it, right? You either love it or you hate it, right? And if if you're hating it, then you're you're not doing it right. Okay, we got a three, four. Now, right now, okay. Does this not look like we've got a three to correct for the four? Right, right where we have these imbalances here at the 23, right? It would be a shallow four, right? P certainly possible it could come down lower here to the 23, 
all of this is possible. But I get a nice impulse here. This is just like Bitcoin. I, I get a, off of the proposed wave four here, proposed, right? We, I get a clear impulse. One, looks to me like we're doing the two. What? Again, you thought it was gonna be different this time? Does this not look like classic four material? After this rip roaring trend, we consolidate here. Expansion, consolidation, contraction, right? It has nothing to do with the markets, that's the universe. From the contraction comes the expansion. From the expansion comes the contraction. That's all the market ever does, right? Expand, contract, expand, contract. We did a little expansion here, but we're not out of the box yet. We're not out of this yet. I, I'm chomping at the bit to buy Solana here. If I can buy it at 143, three, four, five. What are we trying to complete? One, two, three, four, five. This is some of the best Elliot you'll ever see. I, not mine, just the way the market is moving. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Weird, weird. It's just weird to me how people are freaking out. Um, though not, not everything's looking great. Link's are looking a little ugly. Well, let's get over here and quickly look at Link. A couple of pings into the golden zone. We pinged off the 50 here. Is this going to get a little more complex? Okay, well, that's kind of deep here. I'd prefer that to hold. I've got a fairly good chunk of this. Do, now, where are we here? If this is the five, right, of that of that degree. Uh, let's put it in here, right? One, two, three, four, five. W, X, A, B, C, right? Or we're going to have to get more complexity here. It's hard to call it, right? But we can certainly understand what, why the support is here. Now, we don't know that that can't break. It's kind of tight in there. Oh, let's go to the four. Kind of tight in there. Get that off of there. One, A, B, C, two, three, four, five, A, B, C. Very low risk trade here. Pocket. Oh, that would be your first stop. You don't need to take a lot of risk here. Right, you could put it one tick under that because now we invalidate, right? If we go here, it can't be one, right? This is again, the power of Elliott weight, right? There's very clear, if not this, then that. And if not that, then this. That's why Elliott wave traders always have an advantage over any other TA approach, period, period, period. You argue with me all day long. You could give me shitty comments. It doesn't matter, right? You're wrong. We always have an advantage because if this breaks, it cannot be a one, period, one, two. Right, so you can take this with a little, with a little bit of, you know, you, you can be a little aggressive here because assuming you can afford that risk, we do got to do the math here. What the risk is there? I don't know that I'd go balls deep there with massive leverage, but I could start nibbling here. Any question about whether or not there's potential support here? Probably not. Right, we all understand. Now this is just wick got through, but it got through. So is that the why? Is this the one two? Well, we're gonna find out pretty quickly. Very low risk trade. What's the risk reward? Six to one. That's just first target. That's not, that's assuming we don't do the full three. Where's the three gonna be? You can't be scared of it in here, guys. You cannot, scared money never profits. You've heard me say that many, many times. You cannot, because then you're making emotional decisions, right? You can't be scared. You can, you gotta respect, right? Market takes aggressively, it gives reluctantly. You've heard me say that for five years, right? That, that's reality but you can't be scared of it or you'll make emotional decisions, which is happening across the planet apparently today. Now, again, I'm not making light of people that are in drawdown today, but okay, it's not tight. I made my points earlier. Okay, so this looks interesting. I will see, right? I wouldn't mind to see a little reaction. You don't have to sit here and buy it at a limit order. Let's get a little reaction, take the retrace, right? Let's see if we can get out of here. Because if this is one, two, the next leg, the, the, the next series of swings, it, it's not optional. It has to be an impulse. Right? That's a massive advantage for you as a trader. Massive, massive over any other approach. I don't care what ICT, SMC, I don't give a shit that you do not have the same advantage as if you're trading Elliott Wave here. It has to be an impulse. If it's not an impulse, it's not an impulse. And this can't be a one, two. This is not rocket surgery. Okay, let's go over to the S&P, right? I'm gonna finish here. I'm too sick to be on this rant. Okay, let's look at this here. One, looks like we had to go here because of the five here. One, two, one. Do I need to say anything here? Golden zone, right? L look at the first target. 
So we know it's an algo, right? We don't have to wonder about it. We know what happened there. Okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, again, what? Oh, it's gonna be different this time. Oh, it's AI. You know, AI is gonna drive us here. Oh, NVIDIA is gonna go up forever. It's, we completely changed, right? TA is not gonna apply anymore. It's all gonna be different now. I remind you, it is never going to be different because people respond the same way, always, right? Always fear and greed, fear and greed. That's what creates these waves. It's not magic. It's not chart magic. It's not, it's fear, it's fear and greed and fear and greed. And now we've got massive fear. Fear is what creates the opportunity. Again, I'm not saying we're not, we're not going to have some sort of major correction, but right now there's, there is literally zero reason if you're a technician to assume that. There's no, the only thing to assume here is that it's going to do exactly what it usually does. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, looks like we might have some sort of a combo here. W, X, A, looks, looks to me like we're about to do this. B, C, where's the highest probability location for a wave four? Right here. We're not, we're not even, we're just ping the 23. Why is everybody panicking? Let's get in there. Oh, shit, what, I got a four hour here? A, B, C into a W. A, B, C into an X. A, well, that's, that's, that's certainly an impulse, right? People are, I know, right? It's to, to what, trillion plus coming off market cap? Okay. Right, again, I'm not making light of anybody who's experiencing pain today. But from, from a long-term perspective, exactly what you would have anticipated. Look at the divergence here. Oh, well, divergence isn't gonna matter this time. Not gonna matter. Not gonna matter, not in the AI world. The, these divergences, oh, screw that, right? This market's just gonna keep going, going, going. Now, okay, now Friday, Weak jobs report, you know, again, a week ago, you're, oh, God, maybe we'll get a weak jobs report and the market will come down and the Fed can, could, Fed can start lowering. Okay, I'm not saying buy today. Step back from it. That's why trading on these higher time frames is, is slow it down. And but certainly, Elliott Wave always more effective and easier to trade when you're on four hours, four hours and above, 60 and above you're going to get a much cleaner look at the wave structure and, and the market structure. Well, here's the RSI. We've already got divergence on this end. All right? Um, that, that might set us up here for a little bounce into the B. If this is going to be W, X, A, B, well, into the Y to give us the four here. Now, that's a long way down. I know. That's a lot of drawdown. Adjust accordingly. If we come back up in the B, I guarantee you all the talking heads will, oh, pff, correction's over. L look at the length of time, right? Does it really look like we're gonna correct all of this? Like we're gonna correct this whole leg here, like here, here? Does that make sense? Again, it, it, it's possible, certainly possible. So what, is that what it usually does? No, right? You would anticipate this is gonna take a little more time. So we come out here, oh, What's, what's, what's on the calendar that's coming up in addition to Fed? Well, we get into November, it's going to be crazy time. Crazy, crazy, crazy time. There's no way around it. It's going to be a shit show. Okay, right. So adjust accordingly. As we go into November, I, I, I'd be a bit hedged. But just a suggestion, you know, you got to make your own decisions there. But we're going to have craziness in November, period. Period, period, period. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Here's the here, one, two, three, four, five with divergence. It's never going to be different this time. Okay, guys, uh, we'll revisit this next week here. We, this would be ID. Now, okay, c careful right now. That that A to the B. If we get that that relief bounce next week, anticipating that we're going to have uh, uh, the Fed cutting. You know, it's a long way to go to the next Fed meeting. Unless they're going to do something, I doubt they'll do something intermediate. But they might. You never know. You never know. W, X, A, B, C. That's what you'd anticipate. So adjust accordingly. If you've got a long-term horizon, whether we're talking about the S&P or we're talking about crypto, Bitcoin and ETH or Solana, long-term is the way to trade it. 
Let's say you survive and you don't get hammered in this kind of stuff. I've got drawdown in my equity account. I hedged. I bought a, a, an S&P put spread just in case, right? Because you could see this coming. So I've got some drawdown, but less than $400, right? And I'm you know, not a small account. Okay, so, right, that, that's, but that's me, right? So I'm just, I'm just saying, relax, 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 relax. Have a good weekend. Do some TA, do some study. If you want to really learn how to apply this methodology, we can help you with that. You want to be long or short, doesn't, doesn't matter. We'll, we'll help you either way. Okay, guys, with that, I will wish you a good weekend, and we, uh, I'll be back on Wednesday here. Hopefully, God willing, I'm, I'm well. I'm, I'm feeling better right now. It's going to be a long weekend. Okay, you guys take it easy. I'll catch you next week.